everyone, today I'm going to be doing a Rosie, Rosie Huntington Whiteley inspired uh, makeup tutorial. I love Rosie Huntington Whiteley, she's honestly one of my like fashion icons and I think she's absolutely stunning. And in like recent years she's been rocking this very kind of like dusty rose kind of look on her eyes and like a pinky lip like for most of her events or what you see on Instagram. But this specific look was actually inspired by Rosie for Autograph for when she did her perfume campaign and I actually have her perfume here, which is amazing, and I'm gonna spray it on to finish off this look. But um, basically, yeah, it was just her in like a field full of beautiful roses and looking absolutely stunning like she does. And she just rocked like a very simple eye, literally a bit of like mauve, taupey kind of like pinky colours and like a pinkish lip. I think this one's a little bit darker, but like I said, this is a bit more of like an inspired kind of look as opposed to like the exact one. So I hope you enjoy. Please carry on watching if you want to see how I have created this. And uh, yeah, see you in a minute, guys. So I'm just starting off with putting my hair up to get it out my face so I can get to my skin and create a lovely base. So I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and I'm already having technical difficulties therefore this video is going to be amazing. Oh wow, look at that girl. So just let it dry before you apply your foundation. And to apply my base I'm using my Real Technique sponge and my Naked Skin Foundation in shade 2 from Urban Decay. Then I use the Barium Flawless Light Reflecting Concealer in shade 2 just under my eyes to conceal my bags. I probably should have put some viewer discretion saying that there is a lot of dancing in this video so be warned. Now it is time to create some cheekbones because Rosie has some killer cheekbones so I'm using my Be Sculpted Contour Kit and just sort of putting that through a bit of everywhere on my cheekbones and underneath my jawline just to give it a bit more definition and also around the edges of my face just so it looks more natural and where the light falls. Now it's time to step up my brow game. I'm using my Be Creative Art Edition Volume 1 palette and I'm using just the nice brown eyeshadow in it to put through my eyebrows and I'm also going to brush them up because Rosie kind of has like these brushed up brows that look really cool. I am in love with my Naked 3 palette. I think it has like the nicest shades ever so I was really excited to use it for this look. The main two shades that I used were Limit and Nuna and they're both pinky mauve kind of tones. They're both matte and I put Limit through just all over my eyelid basically and underneath my eye as well. And then Nuna I used to kind of like give it a bit more depth and a more sort of sultry kind of effect. Then I used the lightest shade of the palette called Strange just in the corners of my eyes and on my brow bone. I also used a white Rimmel London eye pencil just to make my eyes pop a little bit more and make them look fresh. To finish off the eyes, I used my black Chanel mascara to finally just complete the eye look. And here I got some mascara on my face and I was not pleased with it.
And to complete this rosy look, I used the lipstick from the B collection in Rose Quartz, which I think is just a lovely colour and reminds me of rosy. And I think it just looks lovely and completes the look. And that is it for my rosy, rosy Huntington Rightly Inspired um, makeup look. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And see you soon, guys. Bye. I made a mistake. I already fucked up. is what happens when you film a video. And now I gotta clean it up.